So here we have the Volvo XC60 automatic on a 65 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in the car and run through some controls from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. You can do that from the key. You can also do it from a button on the tailgate as well, should you wish to. As we approach the back of the car, you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. In the dead center, we have the rev counter and we have the speedometer within that section. Over on the right-hand side, it will show you what gear this car is in. This is an automatic, we're in park at the moment. And on the extreme left-hand side, we have the fuel gauge for the car. If we back out to the steering wheel, well, on the left-hand side, we have buttons for cruise control. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair up the phone, which is done over on this central screen area just here, underneath the phone heading, and then just follow the instructions on screen from there. The movements that I'm making with the screen are being done using essentially this dial. You have got a collection of buttons here that you can press, or you can select this dial by twisting it around, pressing OK, and that button will take you back out of whatever menu you're in. For example, if we want satellite navigation, we turn the dial, we press OK, satellite navigation will open up. Um, there's a full video showing how this system works on our uh, website and on our YouTube channel as well. If I press the exit button, we go back to the main menu. You will see that this car has got the radio, of course, and we have AM, FM, and DAB. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Under the media heading, we have a CD player, USB input, iPod input, um, HDD, so a hard disc essentially where you can save your music to, Bluetooth and auxiliary input as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music in this car. Working our way down, we have the CD player, we have the main volume for the stereo, the buttons that I was running through just a moment ago, and then below that, dual zone climate control. So I can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, I can increase the fan speed and decrease it from here. All adjustments show on the screen. So passenger temperature, driver temperature, fan speed, all show up there. When you're happy with those settings, this button will turn your air conditioning on or off again, or hit auto, and the car will take control of the direction of the air and the fan speed, which you can hear it doing to maintain the temperatures you've asked for. So if you ride that, just readjust anything manually and also has now gone off, as you can see. Uh, we then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and a 12 volt charging socket in the cup holder section here. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.